Welcome back to Today on Display. Well, Display Beast, it's time to roll up those sleeves and roll out a brand new quiz. Please do it for me. I don't have any sleeves. <sighs> do we have any trivia newbies here tonight? Any fresh meat in the house? Let me know. I mean, we better because I don't want to give myself E. coli or salmonella before trivia. Ooh. Welcome to the number one place that your learnings get you earnings, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, earlier we spun to determine the jackpot, which tonight is $1,000. And in case you're just tuning in, let me re-explain the rules. So you're going to have 10 seconds to pick your answer and choose wisely because once you tap, there's no going back. If you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but Stay in the game because you can keep playing along for fun. Also fun, making money on display outside of trivia, which you can do simply by posting. Shameless plug right now for all of you to watch Display University every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, hosted by my alter ego, Professor Priebus. Yes, go learn how to make money on display. All right, everyone, you ready to do this? Let's do it. Here we go. Question one. The first letter in the word trivia is what kind of sound? Consonant, vowel, silent. The first letter in the word trivia is what kind of sound? Consonant, vowel, silent. Silent letters and words are my favorite because they're not in it for themselves. No, they don't care about the stage time. They're just showing up, full on supporting their homies. Be the kind of friend who is an E in same, or better yet, the G in baloney. Obviously, the T in Trivia, ta -ta 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 trivia time. Ah, that's enjoying the limelight, yes, especially when I do it like that with, with a nice consonant sound. But keep this up, and you, my friends, you'll be buying all the vowels that you want, babies. So let's sound off into question two. The Jim Henson frog muppet, who is usually dating a pig, goes by what name? Kermit, Carmine, Carl. The Jim Henson Frog Muppet, who's usually dating a pig, goes by what name? Kermit, Carmine, Carl. I've always found the love between these two to be very, very beautiful. And you know, it just goes to show that it, it doesn't matter how different someone is or, or where they come from, right? A sty or a pond. Real love, real love is meant to be. These two, they might be on again, off again, but hey, they have a lot on their plates, being Muppets and all, right? Those are the hardest working puppets in show business. It's not easy being green, but if you picked Kermit, you're gonna be making some. On to question three. Found in most photosynthesizing plants, chlorophyll usually produces what color pigment? Red, green, orange. Found in most photosynthesizing plants, Chlorophyll usually produces what color pigment? Red, green, orange. Let me give you a hint. This color is the same one as the sexy M&M. Yeah. Ring any bells? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. <sighs> I would kill to be half as sexy, half as seductive as that candy temptress. But, you know, to each their own. How are you owning this quiz so far? Nature must be hella rich because, again, with the green, right? All signs point to money and lots of it. Moving on, it's question four. The Motown girl group headed by Diana Ross told us, you can't hurry fun, you can't hurry enough, you can't hurry love. The Motown girl group headed by Diana Ross told us, you can't hurry fun, you can't hurry enough, you can't hurry love. Well, there's a lot you shouldn't hurry. This thing is 
important, but what about cake? You don't wanna rush that, right? No fun pulling that out of the oven with a doughy middle. Or how about pregnancy, right? That baby needs like at least nine months. There's a lot that you shouldn't rush. Like me and hair and makeup. Yeah, I'm looking at my producer. But also, this quiz. This quiz is time, so hurry up. Do it, pick. The Supremes told us we can't hurry love. Yes, but I'm gonna say full speed ahead into question five. Which of the following is not the name of a standardized test used to attain an advanced degree? SAT, GMAT, LSAT. Which of the following is not the name of a standardized test used to attain an advanced degree? SAT, GMAT, LSAT. Speaking of advanced degree, is anyone sweating their butts off these days? Did you know the highest temperature ever recorded on the planet is 134 degrees Fahrenheit in Death Valley? Which is aptly named, I might say, because I would sooner die than go out in that. Whew. And that record almost broke a few weeks ago. Y'all, we gotta do something about climate change because I already cannot with these pit stains. You can't see them, I'm wearing yellow. That's why I chose this. Some of the colors you know, you leave your mark. Speaking of that, are you leaving a your mark on this quiz? SAT is a test for undergraduate degree seekers. Time for Q6. All of the following are names of player positions in baseball except pitcher, umpire, first baseman. All of the following are names of player positions in baseball except pitcher, umpire, first baseman. Hey, better, 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 swing! Is that a taunt or a cheer? I'm literally, I'm so confused. I just know, take me out to the ball game, load me up with a hot dog, some popcorn, and we are good to go. Sure, I might sneak in a nice little nap, but how else am I supposed to get through the most boring sport ever? <sighs> you probably already figured out that I do not know the answer to this question on account of all the naps. The umpire in baseball is essentially a referee. So, not a player, but my displayers, they're ready. You're ready for question seven. Let's do it. Of the following, which type of cloud forms at the highest altitudes? Cirrocumulus, altocumulus, cumulonimbus. Of the following, which type of cloud forms at the highest altitudes? Cirrocumulus. Alto cumulus, cumulonimbus. Cloudy with a chance of winnings is what I see in the forecast today. Winnings or meatballs, which do you prefer? I mean, I guess you could buy meatballs with your winnings. Remember learning about clouds in middle school? I try not to. I try not to. Glasses, braces, hand-me-downs. Perfect storm for a cool teenager. Cumulonimbus are the storm clouds. They can form at a bunch of different altitudes, but cirrocumulus are the ones at the highest. And you're soaring high right now, displayers. We're on to question eight. Which comedic actor does not appear in Jon Favreau's 2004 classic Christmas film? Amy Sedaris, David Cross, Andy Richter. Which comedic actor does not appear in Jon Favreau's 2004 classic Christmas film? Amy Sedaris, David Cross, Andy Richter. This is literally a perfect movie. No matter what holiday you celebrate, I think we can each and every one of us get behind all six foot four of Will Ferrell in an elf costume in New York City. Oh, it's endearing, it's hilarious. I don't know, what more could you want? Maple syrup spaghetti? What's that? Oh, me to stop talking so that you can play the game? Noted, Displaybees, noted. David Cross is the only actor here not in the film, but I'm sure he's still on the nice list. Question nine. The longest continuously operating premium cable network currently exists in all of the following brand iterations except Go, Now, Max. 
the longest continuously operating premium cable network currently exists in all of the following brand iterations except Go Now Max. I love how this network's lead into all of their shows is just static. Like we're gonna charge you an arm and a leg for our content, which don't get me wrong, is top notch. But then we're gonna open everything by pretending like we have no idea what we're doing. Checks out. If you haven't figured it out yet, we are talking about Home Box Office, AKA HBO, which has used all of these names. However, HBO now is, well, no more. HBO then. Let's finish up. It's time for the final question. Question 10. All of the following are different language versions of the main ingredient used to make french fries, except koi thai, kaka, kartoffel. All of the following are different language versions of the main ingredient used to make french fries, except koi thai, kaka, kartoffel. Funny enough, none of these are the French for this food. And what's more, I don't think French fries are even French. So I get hung up on it, because that's not the trivia here. But someone make a note of this, because like now I'm curious, and damn it, now I'm also thinking about French fries with mayo. See, even I'm French. All right, let's wrap this up, guys. I'm hungry. Whew. The main ingredient in chips, as they're known in the UK, potatoes. And the only word here that doesn't mean potato is the Swedish for cake, kaka. Let's break out the kaka for those of you who just did the damn thing. Woo, 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 woo. Koi Thai is Vietnamese. Kartoffel is German. Congrats. I would say that in Vietnamese or German, but I didn't think that far enough in advance to look it up. So congrats in English to all of the winners. Woo hoo. Is it just me or are these getting harder? My pronunciations are getting harder. Whoo, but you, you came, you played, you slayed, you got paid. Y'all are turning some real advanced displays. Put those scores in the chat for me. I see some of you are doing it already. Well done, bravo. I love to see it. Thank you so much for tuning in to today on display as always. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Oh, wait, forgot to reveal the answer to my question earlier. This dress is from the My Shiny Hiney video. And if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. And I'll see you back here tomorrow, same time and place. Good night.